Welcome back to the finale, part five of the 32 pound box from Shop Goodwill. This is all that we have left, so I'm gonna try my best to get through this um, in one in one go. All right, let's get started. Um, there was a bit of time between me filming the intro and me getting started. Just I'm in the living room setting up my I had to set up my lights and stuff, and uh, that was an ordeal. This is a cute. Um, Looks like inlaid brass and a silver toned bracelet. There's a Arbango cuff. It would be a cuff. There's a duck or a goose. And uh, I don't know what that is. And a goose on this side. It is slightly misshapen, um, but not, not too bad. It's really cute. Um, just for giggles, I'm pretty sure this is not. And I, know, I don't know if brass is... Um, magnetic or not but yeah this is cute um i am a little bit lower energy today so if you guys are wondering um it's been a yeah it's been a day but the show must go on it's a cute little girls adjustable bracelet thank you guys for the support on the last video I am um, <laughs> I'm still in shock. The stretch is, is um, decent on this. It is really cold to the touch. Really, really cold. Let me bring up my lighting just a little bit more. And I'll try not to hit the tripod that my phone is on because I noticed in the last video it was a little bit shaky in some parts. You guys let me know what this is. Might just be Mother of Pearl, maybe? Yeah. Mother of Pearl. You can see that iridescence. This is nice. Um, so I'm gonna, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna try to, try my best to get through uh, what's left in this bag today. This is pretty. There is a, um, a name on it. I believe this is a Sarah Coventry. Let me get my loop. Hold on. Let's see. Sarah. Hmm. D O N or C? Maybe it's C O N. Yeah. I'm not sure on that one. Um, I do see Sarah though, so it is not class. So let me see if make sure the class works on it. It does. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's really pretty. That is really pretty. Okay, it's um, it's uh, yeah, it's it's kind of snagging my gloves. These kind of raised bits. It kind of reminds me of a like kelp or seaweed. Right, we've got a gemstone chip bracelet stretch bracelet it's really pretty and and the stretch is really good you guys let me know what gemstone this is it looks like dyed something and I am still learning my gemstone so you guys be patient um, ooh. is this two different earrings it is okay so we're gonna look at earrings we'll look at earrings at the end well, I say that, but <laughs> got a vintage earring. Let's look at the backing. No marks. It does need some cleaning. Um, so I'll put that in there. Enameled class bracelet. This is really pretty. Didn't we have earrings? I want to say that there's earrings that that goes with this but as i start listing um that's when you know like i said in the other video that's when i start doing my uh research on items this is cute it's wood don't see any names makers marks or anything it's really pretty. The detail is really nice. Look at that. Okay. 
We've got those cheap bangle bracelets that are that's in every lot. I swear, every time I shop, uh, ooh, these are vintage and very dirty. But let's see. So yeah, if this video goes over a little bit, um, that's okay. I I don't mind. Um, just because I want to get, I want this just to be the last part of this so I can start. Okay, that is. I just wanted to make sure it kind of looked tarnished. I didn't know if it was tarnished or dirty. Um, you guys let me know. Is that sellable? Like, it's extremely dirty. And like I said, I do not wash just because of my health. I do not have the time for that. Um, if the piece is really valuable, then I will put work into it. But if it's not, you know, um, between washing it, taking pictures, listing, all of that, these are gorgeous. Let's hope all the stones... They are. Ooh, you guys, these are pretty. Um, yeah, I just, it's not worth washing if, just for me, just because of my, my health. Um, and thank you guys so much for the comments uh, regarding my health and finding out I am not the only one. There's a lot of us out there that are dealing with chronic illnesses and um, uh, autoimmune illnesses. A little palm tree with little coconuts hanging off if this is not the cutest thing um this is edison home edison home and i'm pretty sure it's not silver but you guys have got me out here in a choke hole so i will be using this um that is cute do you see the little distended coconuts that is so cute now this part is not silver hold on let me this part is not silver. Uh, I mean, it's not magnetic, but this is magnetic. So I don't know. We'll put it in the test pal. I'm not sure what's going on with the lights. They're fluctuating. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. That one earring, we'll put that back there. Ooh. That is silver bead just went flying. Okay. Hmm, might have to play around with my lights a little bit. Um, oh, got to make These are cute. Chunky yellow acrylic earrings. More of an orangey yellow, but those are cute. Let me make sure that the... Yeah, okay. Onwards and upwards. Oh, I see something here. So... This is pretty. It looks like it was handmade. But it's made very well. Um, I am not sure how you do the clasp. Hmm. I don't know if that clasp opens or not. Oh, hold on. There's movement. There we go. Magnetic. Magnetic with a pin. Come on. There we go. So that's pretty. There is one earring. I'll try to find the other one. So I'm going to lay that off to the side. Got another armadillo dyed mother pearl. The stretch is okay on this as well. This is pretty. That's nice. Oh, here's the other. Um, now, the OGs, the one from the... You guys from the very first video will remember the... Um, the, um, someone said it's a Mexican wedding, Lariat or Bo, Boho, something. Um, but I'll put that to the side so that I could, you know, when I said, you guys said it was worth about 60 to $70. So I'll put it to the side. Here's another one. Oh, this one's got a pin on the back. So house pins by Lucinda. Um, and it's got an address. So I'm guessing that other one is by her as well. It just didn't have a tag on it. Okay, I do have a, a story to tell you guys. Um, I'm not, I want to give it the due, the due justice, and um, I'm not sure if I'm high enough energy today to remember all the details. Those are pretty that goes into the story, but uh, maybe maybe as I'm doing the testing, we'll see. There's the other Ponsetta earring. Okay. 
So I know we have a mate to this. Yep, we do. So if you guys are coming from the first, very first video I posted on here, you will know that um, I love 80s earrings. So I will probably be keeping a few of these. I don't want to keep all of them. But I'll be probably be keeping a few, a few of them. All right, these are earrings. I'm just throwing them to the back, and we'll we'll deal with it later. It's a belt loop. Just curious. Yeah, it's um. Hmm. We'll do it later. Let me keep on track. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at this. It's an enamel frog. I mean, enamel, um, oh, what do you call it? Lily pad with a gold frog on it. Gold tone frog. Um, there are no makers mark. The pen does work, man. This is pretty. I hope you guys can see this. I do apologize for the lighting right now. I had it right the last video where I liked it. Um, and today it is not doing what I want it to do. Oh, the, the um, the frog eyes have little rhinestones. Let me see. Ah, there we go. Look at that. You see how the light is fluctuating back here? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll keep on that. Mm, do we have another sterling silver? We have had three what I believe to be sterling silver bracelets come from the... Oh, no, this is brass. See, the lighting changes so bad it changes the way i view look through the camera because i got three very bright lights um you know what you guys hold on i'm gonna pause it and see if i can fix this lighting okay i think that might be a little bit better we'll see anyways where were we little brass there's glass or something in here but brass bracelet <laughs> These are cute. Little um, giraffe earrings. I saw these when I was looking through the pictures in the shop Goodwill. Ooh, this is chunky. This is, uh, <laughs> this has some weight to it. Let's see who it is. Um, just stainless steel, China. Base metal, bezel stainless steel back let's hope the snap works it does this is nice i might keep this for my, oh you know i can't keep everything for myself um yeah that's nice all right gonna be late to the side for the watch lot if i don't sell it individually here is oop first hair alert hair alert mm, okay just die silently in the trash thank you okay that vintage um, hmm vintage bead necklace and there are little bitty beads in the middle but it seems like the uh, the gold has been worn off if you guys can see that but it does have a barrel clasp okay. earring we'll put that to the back for now although that it looks really pretty Okay, we have a watch head without a watch. I mean, without a band on it. Let's see. This is Anna Klein 2. Instant water, water 100 resistant. So, that'll go in the watch lot. Unless you guys see something you want, reach out to me via email. Um, leave a time stamp. A time, mm, hold on. Time stamp and video um and the video that you were interested in um and i'll quote you a price one i do apologize you guys it's going to be our this i call these days this uh the struggle bus days um it's just where my brain is not working and i am dealing with a lot more pain than my normal pain so um but we will we will pers persevere this is nice um, I think this is plastic. Yeah, it's plastic and there's some silver speckles, glittery speckles in here. Yeah, really nice. 
someone the other in the other video said they were interested in the uh in these flower bracelets well here's another one leather i think it is uh, reach out to me via email give me a timestamp. i think I, I don't remember your name commenter but um, if you're still interested, um, give me a timestamp so that I know exactly what you were interested in and uh, shoot me a video. I mean, uh, oh, this is going to be a day. <laughs> shoot me an email. Sometimes on these days, I'm like, do I film? Do I not? Do I work? Do I not? But sometimes I don't have a choice. This is Bulava, Bulova. Okay, I can see that. Bulova. It is really scuffed, really scuffed. There you go, you guys can see it. But um, I'll look up the, the brand on that one just to make sure I don't have something. That is pretty, I don't know what it is, but um, isn't that pretty? What are you? Maybe you were, it used to be a pen? Yeah, I think so. Used to be a pen. Hmm. Okay, we've got a, oh, something stuck to something. I'll look at earrings later. Oh, no. You don't have a backing. Okay. So, homemade, I Hold on, you guys. I'm trying my best, but maybe that'll help. I am not sure. I'm filming earlier in the day today, and that might have something to do with, with it, because normally I'm in a, a pitch black room with just these lights. But with how today is going, I know that I'm not going to be able to film later. But anyways, there's that. Um, so I needed to kind of knock this out today because um, I won't be able to film on Thursday because it would be my time of the month and yeah, that's no fun for anyone. So, so we have some more Japan earrings. Well, let me put these back together. Since we're getting down to the bottom of this lot, it has gotten substantially much dirt, like just dirty. Just there's dirt falling. You guys look at that. It's, it's not like it's enamel, maybe inlaid, inlaid metal. Um, that is pretty. It is Amita Japan. Ooh, it is broke, like the, um, you see that? Yeah, that is broke, but I feel like someone could fix that because that is a shame. That is really pretty. Here's another brooch. I want to say this reminds me of Brutalist, but I any any really chunky, heavy metal gold, I'm like, oh, Brutalist down. I know that's not right. <laughs> oh, but I, uh, I appreciate you guys' patience. I am definitely learning. Um, and it's, it's a fun process. It's fun to get meeting you guys in the comments. Like, um... I am definitely having fun, like going through my comments and uh, getting to know you guys and your personalities and what you do. Um, there was one lady, I don't remember your name. I'm so sorry. If I met you in person, I would remember what you wore. That's how I remember people by what they wear. Um, but you said that you were 77 and that you had a jury collection or that you love jury. Um, and man, I just know that you have a huge collection of jury. Um, I'll have to show you guys the Schwarzer. I think that's how you pronounce it. These are those two earring clip on earrings. The Schwarzer uh, necklace that got me started in this. I got it for $4 at a thrift store in Nashville. And, um, it has been absolutely, it, it just, yeah, it's what started. I thought, I thought it would go with a collection that my grandmother had. I was just trying to, you know, build her collection. Um, she is no longer with us. She died when I was very young. And um, hmm. my mother, I'm going to put this in the test pile. I'm not sure about that one. My mother inherited her costume jewelry and my aunts 
inherited her real jewelry, um, you know, her real diamonds and things like that. Um, or my mother, you know, she gave it, you know, they were supposed to split it. This is stainless steel, Hong Kong. Watch. Uh, I'm trying to see what it says on it. Nissan? Is that what it says? This is another Bolivia or Bolivia. Livova. You guys can help me with that. Reading is not happening today either. <laughs> All right, there it is. Put it to the side. So, anyways, my mother inherited my grandmother's costume jewelry, and because it's blue, um, I have inherited it because my favorite co uh, color is royal blue. This is really pretty. Look at that open filigree work. It's very lightweight. That's really pretty. Mm, no maker's mark, but. That might come to me as I list them. Sometimes they just pop out. So I got her costume jewelry. And I have been trying to build the collection ever since. Oh, that's this cute little char purse charm. Oh, it's double-sided. Hmm. Just because. There is no, I think this opens. Oh, 925, yay. I feel like this opens, I'm not. You guys let me know. That is, see that, I guess it doesn't open. It's just been soldered in one place, but there's the 925. We'll put that in the testing pile. So yeah, I've been trying to build her collection up and uh, is this amber? Oops. Sorry guys, I'm trying to rub it and smell it. I am still working on how to figure out what amber is. And matter of fact, matter of fact, I've got a question for you guys in just a second. We'll put that to the side. Um, I have a lady interested in this. And I need to do some, I've been doing research on it, but it's possibly egg yolk amber so i need you guys help into how to figure out um i do apologize about the lighting i have no clue what's wrong today um just bear with me but i'm trying to figure out if it is or not um so if you guys have ideas on how to test i am google searching as well but i don't really want to do the burn test i did have a uv light on it and i looked up pictures um you know UV lights and that's a ring by the way and it's supposed to glow a certain color but even with the pictures that we'll do earrings after I keep forgetting but um, earring earring even with the um, pictures that that was like yes this is amber do you see the glow and I'm like what glow I, I see nothing um, so if you guys could pop in the comments you veterans you I call you know in my culture we call you the OGs um, this is, hold on, Western Germany. So there's a, you can't hardly see it, but Western Germany um, scarf clip or necklace clip. Um, if you guys could pop in the comments and let me know what you do um, to determine if something is amber or not, I would appreciate it because um, I don't want to keep um, the customer waiting, but I also want to make sure that I'm catching stuff this is I know we put this in crafts and I remember thinking back to this I really don't think this is silver um it is not it is um peeling so that's not silver there's a little little bit we're starting to get down to the small so I'm gonna pull out a little bit oh so the lady who wanted the um leather bracelets there there's more these are this one's in really good condition other than a little wear down here yeah pretty we are definitely getting to the smalls let me just try to get with the big stuff so anyways, anyways yeah back to the schwarzer i believe i'm pronouncing it correctly um, oh look man there was another there's an, we got another turtle out of this um hmm enamel look at that and it's got rhinestone eyes please let all the rhinestones be there 
Sorry for the shaky camera. As I um, become more, as this business becomes more lucrative, I will invest in better, like a more stable tripod for my camera. Um, somebody was asking if I was going to get a Pressy, which is a gym tester machine. Um, and then, of course, camera. Um, yeah, that will come with time. But yeah, I was in Nashville for a doctor's appointment and um, the went shopping and found the Schwarzer. I didn't know at the time what it was. I didn't know anything about vintage jewelry. All I knew was I was, this is 95 on the back of this. You guys will not be able to see that so i don't know if this is also silver let me test it all right there is no magnetic um magnet whatever there, it's not magnetic <laughs> so i will test it um someone made an earring zipper um i am not going to you know knock what do you want to wear? Maybe it would be very cute. I don't think it's for me though. Oh, there's a pearl missing. You guys let me know. Do these sell? Uh, do these sell well? Even if there's like a stone missing? I guess it depends on the brand. I don't see one, but... Yeah, it was... It was the, the necklace was like... It's a choker style. And, oh, oh my goodness, you guys, the necklace, there's a necklace, the necklace to the earrings that I might possibly be keeping. There's a hair, hair, a hair, up, just, you know, I swear they're out to get me. But anyways, um, look, ah, yay, that is so nice, yay. Um, I wish it had a brand name, uh, but it doesn't, so anyways. It was just the necklace was sitting behind the counter and uh it was uh it was on sale half off for uh, it was fifty percent off. Okay, there's that. It is not in great condition at all. Okay. We'll do earrings after. But uh yeah, I came home and it took me a while to find the maker's mark um, and it did not end up matching sorry there's stuff rolling everywhere it did not end up matching what uh it did not end up matching my grandmother's pieces so um that is pretty look at that royal blue let's see quartz no brand name stainless steel back it's one of those nice go on the watch lot um unless you want it reach out to me all right we have a tangle um, that didn't take as long as that one from a few videos back but it <coughs> excuse me it did take a little bit of time but um we have some glass pearl glass pearl necklace it is let me show you so it starts up here and it has a double strand until you get to two matching um, pearls. And then it extends further down. This is really nice. It's very cold. Um, really nice quality. Um, all right. We have earrings. We'll put that back there. This is Talbert. I think I might have fixed the lighting. It's just the app that I use is, um, hold on, sorry about the shaking. I am trying to, the app that I use is, uh, was just messing up. <laughs> so, is that gemstone? That is. All right, you guys, tell me what this is. I think it's Jasper, but I could be wrong. I know nothing about gemstones yet, but blue Jasper to me, that's what it looks like. But anyways, pretty Earring, we'll put it back there for now. Got a rhinestone necklace. Looks like something for a little girl. Um, yeah. Bracelet. That's the back. Hold on. Uh, we have earrings and a necklace that match this. I'm pretty sure. 
pretty sure. There's writing. No. What about this side? Nope. Okay. Um, this is just some broken, broken thing, but let me, because you know when they're homemade, sometimes they use, I'm going to put that in testing. Sometimes they use sterling silver endings. So those are fashion bangles. Okay, this right here is beautiful. So I'm not sure what that gemstone is. But these two are glass. And then you have faceted silver and uh, two or three gold tone not sure if it's worn off no it's not it's just three gold and some silver but anyways faceted beading and then a chain all the way up it's really pretty and if you guys see something you need to see more close-up shots of it I can take pictures and email it to you um, no this is who had everybody hemmed up <laughs> Everybody was tangled up around this hunker. Uh, pretty sure that it is not gold or silver. There is, you know, there's some wear on it, but I kind of like the look of it. But just for giggles. Okay, not magnetic. I don't think it's... Uh, I need to look up the metals before I do another video. Um, what metals are magnetic? I... You guys let me know. Does that look silver to you? But it goes all the way up. It's really pretty. Really pretty. I think it's just aluminum or something. But yeah. At least the camera's working now. I wonder if I can brighten my light back up then. Just slightly. We'll see. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, hold on. There's more over here. Now this one is unique. Very boho. Um. So it's a... Uh, not sure if those are, are wood or bone. But so it hangs like this. Can you guys? It hangs like that. It's got stations of fish, and um, then I've got I've got it turned around backwards. But there's a heart that has a carving on it. I feel like it's almost tribal. But um, yeah, it's pretty. But it had everything tangled, so I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to put it by itself. Let me grab a piece of... I'm just going to put it in the tissue. I'm glad I didn't cut it. I was this close to, like, you know, snipping it. I'm glad I didn't do that. All right. It's time for the smalls. We have reached the bottom of this box, and I'm so happy. All right. We have... Oh, I've got stuff falling. Okay, I'll have to get you later. I have got... These two vintage earrings. Pretty sure there wasn't a maker's mark on this. No, there wasn't. But sometimes it's on the other earring. I, I didn't learn that. There isn't. But okay, yay! So I'm gonna put that out to the to the side. Got another watch. Come on. What if I zoom you in just a little bit so I can see? Um, it says Perry Carter, Petty Carden, Carden, yeah, Petty Carden, um, Petty Carden, yeah, not sure if that is a good brand or not, but you guys let me know, it's pretty, that'll go on the watch pound, um, there's another one of these we just pulled out, or did I pull it out, anyways, um, can you focus? Hold on. Fist. There we go. Flower. Bracelet. We have got earrings. Oh my god, there's... I think that's the earring for that... The other necklace. This says Japan on it. There is a lot of verdigris. All right, now I'm going to have to start. 
Hold on, you guys. Let me get some water. Make sure you guys are drinking your water. I am halfway, a little under halfway through my gallon for the day. Um, and eating is, is not going bad. I'm trying to be very mindful and not eat when I'm in pain. You know, just because I'm in pain. Look, you guys, it sells um, for sale. And it's another one of the house pans by Lucinda. These are really cute. Very unique. There's a cat. Um, <clears throat> yeah, my eating has been going better. I just need to be consistent. Um, I'm very good at starting stuff. Not so good at finishing. Well, I'm, I don't want to say that now. I want to be positive. I'm going to be good at finishing this year. Um, it's just that when I mess up, it's hard for me to get back on track. Um, whoops, sorry. Hit the camera. Those are pretty. Pretty sure they're not silver. Didn't think so. <laughs> Oh, it's all worn. Wooden earring. It has seen better days. But some people might like that fatina of really, you know, of old. You guys let me know. I like it. Mm. <clears throat> you know what? I'll put these to the side because this is, this is slowing me down. Now, I know we have... No, that is wood or dyed wood. Let's see. This is the fun part where we search through <laughs> and see if we can find. Oop, there it is. There we go. Back of the clefts. There's nothing. These are really pretty, though. My twin sister might. Well, you know what? No, she wouldn't. That's more me. Okay. Fashion bracelet. Okay, we have got. chain bracelet with some little I like to call them flower petal shaped rhinestones no maker's mark that I can see there is a little little dirt um, that needs to be cleaned hmm actually I think it's paint yeah it's paint okay <clears throat> got a half moon I wish you guys that we were live because you could tell me if I'm missing the pairs for the earrings. I'm looking over my phone, so I might miss some, but got a pair for those. Yay. I'm going to need to get another um, another bag. I mean, those little bitty bags. I'm out of them. Oh, there's the little bells. I remember those from a few videos back. The other ones were really tarnished. Okay. That's a unique earring. We'll put that to the side. Hopefully we can find it. Alright. I don't know if it's better for me to... You know what? That's what it is. I'm going to make sure there's no more necklaces. Um, that's some type of ceramic something that broke. I'm going to make sure there's no more like necklaces in here. I'm going to find pairs and then I'll be back. Okay, here's what I got so far. I've been at this for about 30 minutes. There's the, I think this was a belt buckle. But there's that ceramic. So these are still missing mates, but I found mates for, for these. You guys let me know what stone that is. So that's, I wish I had a bag. For mates. Hmm. I'm not getting up right now, but um I'll just put them in a corner over here. Okay, let's keep going. Um these enameled gold tone really abstract swirl. Pretty sure these are 80s. Very pretty. It's faux jersey earrings. It's, it's, you know, there you go. Really pretty. We have these crest. They're um, clip on and screw back. So these are pretty vintage. Very nice. 
Let me just connect these together so I don't lose them. Okay. We've got Christmas um, present earrings. I'll save those for next year unless someone wants them now. We have these little, they're clip-ons. The pearl and a rhinestone. These are really pretty. Oh, got my fingers. Really pretty. There's a lot of mates, so I'm happy with this box. Someone asked where I got this back box from. I'll have to check um, some 80s half shell earrings. I'll have to check because I ordered two boxes this one and then a 27 pound. Um, I know one was Florida. These are clay ball earrings with uh, flowers or a knot. Um, so yeah, I have to, I'll get back with you guys on that. I'm not sure if this box was the Florida one or another, another one. These are wood disc earrings. Found the uh, mate for the vintage pearl earring. And these are clip-ons. So I'm very happy. They definitely put all the mates in here. It seems like I still have a, but I have a bag to go. Um, this says CK on the back. I'm thinking Calvin Klein, maybe. Um, you guys let me know. Here's the mate for these. Um, one of them says Monet. This go when I don't think this goes on this. It says Monet. I'm pretty sure that this is not the correct backing for it. Um. Because, I mean, who would put a gold backing for these? But anyways, we have these pretty rhinestone circle clip-on earrings. And I'm pretty sure these didn't have a maker's... Oh, they do. Lube, where's my lube? Let's see. This is hard to see. Okay, there we go. Sterling. Mm -hmm. Sterling. So that does that mean Sterling Silver or Sterling the company? I think there's a company called Sterling. I could be wrong. Let me. They are not magnetic. So, could be sterling silver, but you guys let me know, and I'll also do some research when I go to list these. Um, but I'll put them in the test pal. I've got these beautiful 80s suspended, like dangled earrings. Really pretty. I mean, it's mate after mate after mate in this box. Just really, this is enameled earrings. We're still going. <laughs> these really big honkers. I mean, these are nice. Look at that. Earrings for pierced ears. These fashion pierced ear earrings. These. And I did find the other wooden dyed earring. Cabochon. I believe it's capuchon even if it's oval um yeah these are these are definitely vintage okay we have some fan clip-on earrings very pretty we have um i do believe these are monet let me check no these are tafari yeah these are tafari so this is the earring quit shaking Tafari abstract. I don't know what it is, um, but they're cute. Silver toned. We have these. Very pretty for pierced ears. Oh, and we have these. And I think I'm pretty sure these go with these. Yeah, they do. 
yeah they go with those so let me set those aside and i'll put those on we're still going <laughs> some shell two-toned earrings you've got gold and silver tone we have these paper remember when these were like really big um paper earrings clip-ons i mean not clip-ons um shepherd hook for pierced ears we have these half moon open earrings really pretty um didn't see a maker's mark on them but that can pop out at me later so i have these and i'm, I'm really sad about them um these are tafari as well but they are missing as you can see um they're missing some um some of their pearls so you guys let me know if this is sellable or not i know i think pearls are more easier to replace than um you know like rhinestones okay so these silver earrings and uh oh no 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 okay hold on all right dropped an earring <laughs> um I think there's writing inside of this. Let me see. It says Napier. So, and there's the Napier mark in there. So that's good. Are they magnetic? Yes, they are magnetic. Okay. A bit too shiny to be sterling, but where are we at? Here we go. I just think these are so dainty. Look at these. Aren't they cute? And I think, I think these go with, oh, well, you're not hanging right, hold on. You were just a minute ago. Anyways, I think these go with this, or am I mistaken? I think those go together. Not sure, but they're cute. Okay, found the mate for these. And these huge honkers, look at these. They need cleaning, but clip-ons, I don't see a maker's mark on them, but really pretty, huge honkers. They've got these. Really pretty. So I think I'm going to do like a clip-on earring lot because trying to, we have also, we've got these right here, also really pretty abstract squirrels trying to put these up <laughs> and take pictures one at a time oh you guys look at this i'm going to be throwing this away i think um it is 32 percent full lead austrian crystal yeah no um i think that is toxic you guys let me know but i'm pretty sure these are toxic um i don't think you're supposed to have lead in your earrings above point something percent found these found the mate for those so i think i'm going to be keeping those okay pretty sure we have a bracelet and or necklace for these they have these they're clip on i just got them together because it's easier for me um they're a bit bit scratched but if someone wants them you are welcome to them just send me an email. Everything is in the description. These are Mark Japan, by the way. Everything is in the description. My email and all of that. These are cute. But the post on the back is broke. Um, so unfortunately, those will not do. And of course, we found these in one of the other videos. Really pretty. And these. 80s enameled. Earrings, we've got these. Very pretty. Okay, there's a few more and then I'm gonna stop the video and keep going. Um, I don't know how you are stuck, there we go. Little dangled disc earrings. I mean, uh, dangling beads. If you hear a noise in the background, that is my fan. It is way hot in here, so I've got to do what I got to do. 
Um, I think that's it for the mates. Oh, let me show you all of the rings that I found so far. Just some little cheap brass, not brass, but um, aluminum. So there's a few. Some hearts and other. Yep, yeah, there's a couple. I'm going to put these in a Kleenex just so I can keep them all together. And we've got a couple of more. Mm -hmm. So, we've got a few pendants. Hold on. Let me get that light up. we got a few pendants. This is a pan heart brooch. It's really cold, whatever this is. You guys can let me know. Um, I don't know if it's bone or what, but it is really cold. Um, it is magnetic, so it's not silver surrounding it. Here's a cute shell. Very um, fine, but like really thin, but very pretty. Um, shell pendant. I'm going to keep that by itself. I don't want that. Well, you know what? If it survived <laughs> 32 pounds of jewelry, it can survive this little container. This is a uh, two dolphins going around. Um, I'm guessing this represents water. It's a pendant. It's really cute. I'm pretty sure it is not silver, and it isn't. We have a brass heart. Very abstract. Um... I like this. Yeah. I have a dragonfly pendant. A uh, Samantha pendant. And it looks like a Victorian, um, I don't know if you know those mud lockers, is that what they call them, where they go and, um, dig through the mud by rivers and lakes or whatever oceans maybe and they find ceramic pieces that look like this um, but that's really pretty hmm. it is not magnetic so we're going to test it um, it's a beautiful brooch looks like a flame and this was the, was this the Sarah Coventry one or, yeah, the Sarah, Sarah Coventry. A sun pendant, or not, a uh, sun charm, actually. And unfortunately, this is broke. It was a pendant. Whoops. Okay. Mm hmm Hold on, there was... Okay, no, just want to make sure that wasn't a mate. Okay. I do apologize for the struggle bus of this video today. I know it's not um, as good of a quality as I want it to be, but sometimes you just have to push through, even though everything is not perfect. Um, just because, like I said, later on this week, I'm trying to see if there is a mark on this. Hmm. I cannot. I have my loop. Um, but it is done in such a way that. Okay, K X F M E N T Z. No clue. But so there's that. But yeah, you just kind of have to push through and get it done. Here's a breast cancer awareness pin. My mother survived breast cancer in, I believe it was 2021. Um, we thank God for sparing her. Um, she had a lumpsectomy and part of her lymph noids under one arm removed. And um, then we rode from that into COVID. And then after COVID, blood clots. <laughs> It's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, so 2021 and 2022, 
has been a um, an event for years, so we're hoping this year. Look at that. Looks like a um, <laughs> a badge of some sort, but cute. And we have a starfish. So, nope, that's an airy. Okay, I have no clue what this is. PB. Ooh, that looks like a pitchfork. Uh, <laughs> Y'all let me know. That looks like a pitchfork. And I, uh, I, don't, I don't do pitchforks and things. Y'all let me know. I'm going to put that to the side. Cause, uh -uh. 